Good day folks, it's Nick here, we're on the Commodore Amiga, and we're looking at a game called Ultimate Darts, or probably closer, John Lowe's Ultimate Darts, yes it's licensed. The game also came out on the Atari ST and the Commodore 64, it's by Gremlin Graphics in 1989. There's lots of different modes here. You can play, well, directly on the computer or a real mode, where you throw the darts against a, a real dartboard you might have, and then just type in what you've got. So it's interesting in that respect. Uh, ten difficulty levels, and uh, let's just jump into a match here to see what the uh, game engine is like. Uh, John Lowe was a professional darts player uh, who won the World Championship in 1979, 87 and 93. His walk-on music was uh, Hooray Hooray is a Holiday by Boney M. Yes, anyway, let's get this thing. 501, there we are. Who am I playing? I'm playing Wayne Moore. Hooray, hooray, it's a holly holly day. We're a world of fun for everyone. Holly holly day. Well, we'll see. I'm being a bit ambitious in that song because I think this game might be a little bit pants. But anyway, um, I like 180 on the, um, on the Commodore Amiga and uh, ZX Spectrum. Wacky darts on the Spectrum. This one, well, it's all in the control system. Uh, lots of mini games in this as well. You can play uh, cricket. We have to get people out by hitting the bullseye. Oh, that's an interesting hand. Has he got the right amount of fingers? He has. He flips the coin. Player two wins the toss. Was that me? I'm probably player one. Now, Gremlin Graphics are more um, famous for games like Lotus and Shriek Turbo Challenge. I don't know what's going on here, but let's at least give it half a chance. Right, that's him throwing it. We're going down for 501. Now it's me. Right, okay. Oh, man. Oh, this control system is weird. It's like I'm having a fit. Press the button to launch it. Oh, this is impossible. Right, maybe maybe it'll grow on me. That was 60, wasn't it? 60. Right, here we go. Oh, look at that. And a dart bounces out. You didn't get 180. Right, concentrate, Nick. This is me. Mm -hmm. well, I've got one treble 20. Yeah, so there's a, there's a knack to this, which hopefully I get as the game goes forward. So you can opt to go from 301 or 501. That was a good score by him. Where's Boney M? Hooray, hooray, it's a nightmare. Treble 20, come on. Oh, man. God. Yeah, this is very awkward. But if you owned this one back in the day, let me know. Because you might have uh, perfected it or got some skills. Or maybe I can make, put the uh, difficulty level down ever so slightly. That might help me. Come on. Hooray. Hooray, no, not hooray, that's got in one, is it? Hooray, 20, come on. Yeah, uh, these reviews, as I always say, are not about expert gameplay. They would have been how you experienced the game in your first or second go. Would you have cried that you spent all your pocket money on or wish that this hadn't been bought for your birthday or Christmas, or would you have loved it? I don't think I would have liked this at the moment because just because there's better options available. The sound of the darts going in are quite good, though. I'm not sure, I don't think there's an option to change the uh, pattern of the darts. Be interested to see. Oh, he's going low. It's interesting to see. Oh, he's won on a double ten. Be interested to see how this game plays on the Commodore 64 because I think it might uh, fit in a bit better there. Oh, he did, he missed that double D. Right. Okay. Let's keep going in. I need 138. There we go. 78. I can't finish off that. He's going to hit double five now anyway. I thought he got that. So that leaves me with 77. Player two to throw. He needs double five. He's got it. There we go. So I lose the first leg. I don't know how many we have to play to get to a set here. We'll soon find out. But I'm not liking this. But let's play a few more legs. See how we go. Yeah, it's just, it's just the control system is awful. Right, I, I do appreciate it's got to have some sort of randomness to it, otherwise you're getting 180 every single time. You can't just point and click it. So you've got to move it around a bit. But I think uh, games like 180 had it a little bit better. But it's a different control system. You know. Yeah, Gremlin Graphics, better games by them were available. John Lowe. I'm going high or low. Da -da. Let's see if I can at least win one leg or maybe get 180 somehow. 20 right now it's my throw concentrate get in the treble 20s maybe I'll go for a bullseye at some point that's one come on that's two come on get across 140 that's not bad so I'm getting a bit better already I think a 180 is possible here he's not hanging around he throws his darts very very quickly 
Now, it's all about getting a good score here. We're on 260. It's about getting a good score so we can maybe get on a finish. I think getting a double at the end is going to be very tricky with this control system. Oh, it's going to be a 60, is it? No, it's gone in the fives. That's bad. Handed over the advantage to him, but he probably had an advantage. Oh, darts bounced out. That's unfortunate. Right, 205. 140, he could finish off that. Treble 20, treble 20, double 10. But I can't finish on 205. But let's at least. Oh, we've gone in the one. Let's put the pressure on. That helps. What was that? 81. 81. Yeah, in theory, he can finish off this, but it's very tricky. Oh, look at that. No, don't say. Did he finish? He finished. Oh, what? Treble 20, treble 20, double. Oh, I think I've been conned there. I've been conned. Right, two legs, two legs to nil. There is a, a mode on this where you can go round the board. You have to get one, two, three in order to get to 20. You might have that, give it a quick go. As I say, there's a few mini games in there as well to keep you, well, try and keep you entertained. But it, to me, it's just frustration city. Um, I'll tell you where this game might excel. As I said before, if you click on the real mode, if you've got a real dartboard, set that up. Throw your darts and type in what you've got. Obviously, be honest. I got one eighty. I got one eighty, and then and then it'll work it out before. So that that's where the interest is. If you want to play darts against someone and there's no one about, then this is this is the only reason to buy this game. Um, an opponent simulator. That's it. So it's good at that, but actually in the game itself, aiming at stuff, then I'd give it a miss. Right, but I'm sure some people would have enjoyed it, but it's not as good as real darts. Come on, go in. Having said that though, despite the aiming system is awful, um, I'm probably better at this than real darts anyway. I fancy a game of real darts now. I don't think I've even got a dartboard. I remember back in the day as a kid having a dartboard and um, it was on my wall. Parents let me have that, which is good. But uh, the, the wallpaper was surrounded with holes where I'd missed the board. And I think the, the board of eventually, because I played it so much, I think the the board eventually, um, well, it was, just, it was just a board of holes really. Never never replaced it, but it's quite dangerous now, isn't it? A dartboard on a door or something. You're throwing your dart, someone comes in, gets a dartboard in the belly button. Not a dartboard, a dart there. That's not, that's not a safe thing to do. Come on. Get dart leagues, don't you, around the pubs? 501. Player two to throw. Well, you won't, you won't do as good as me, has he? Right, 401, 401. So we might, we might, be, we might be battling this time. We might be in it. So I'm frame first, so, oh, so that's not good, Nicky, in the ones. What was that? Was that 61? So it doesn't announce your score either, it just deducts it off. So sometimes you're left guessing, did I get that or not? So he's taking a small lead. Need to score heavily here, one would have fought. Come on, John Lowe, or whoever this is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's a, that's a terrible score. Player two, get ready. Mm, he's just thrown 140. That's putting the pressure on. Big time. In 1989, I think there's better things to be doing uh, than playing this. Certainly at the time of recording 2021, there's a lot better things to be doing. Has it aged well? Well, not really. It's all like darts. That's all you can say. The Gremlin logo is at the bottom every now and again. Um, 246. I can't finish on that. Mm. What else did uh, Boney M seen? Um... Ra ra Rasputin, um, something 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 something. Du, 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 du. I'm I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to look up Boney and play a few songs songs off YouTube now. But uh, this is something for you. If you was a professional darts player, I think they do it in the snooker as well. What would your walk-on music be? So John Lowe's it was Hooray Hooray is a Holly Holly Day by Boney M. I don't know what mine would be. Um, always look on the bright side of life, maybe. I'd, I'd have to think about that. Something action-packed. Um, uh, always look on... No, I'd have to pick up something better than that. But Smooth Criminal. Maybe that. Yeah, I'd pick that. Smooth Darts Player. Ooh. Oh, man. Right. So he's on, we've got half a chance here. He needs to get double, f oh, look at that. I said we got half a chance. We was we was in it there. Uh, result, Wayne Moore wins. He's beaten us. Hmm. Game's a bit duff, isn't it, really? Right, let's go round the board. I think that's what we're doing. Um, round the board, there we go. 
So, you've got to get the um, darts in order. Whoever goes first has got a big advantage. So you go up, you need to start on one, then two, then hit three and go all the way around. The first person to hit 20 wins the whole thing. Uh, he's going first and he's, well, he's got all three, isn't he? This could be, if he hits everything first time, this could be a big waste of time. But there was an option to put it on, you have to hit the double of each one or the treble, so maybe that's a better thing to do. Right, one, two, three. So I'm level with him at least. I think we've got the same darts, haven't we? We're both using the same the same dart. Four, five. Oh, he's not hanging around. Yeah, I think I think uh, this mode is a waste of time. I need to be playing someone that's about half drunk up the pub. Four, that's in. Five, I'll go in there. So bigger targets here. So I, I, if anything, this supposedly this gets you a bit of training on uh, on uh, on the aiming mechanism as I stick it in thirteen. Unlucky with some. Certainly unlucky for me. Now, if you know a darts game, I haven't covered yet on the Amiga, then let me know, and I'll uh, I'll write it down maybe for some time in the future. Right, so I'm already behind. He's not going to miss anything. Uh, that's oh sorry, this is me in it. Right, six, seven. Whoops. Come on, eight. Where is eight? Where's eight on the board? Did that go in seven or not? No, I did. I missed seven. Craziness. It's a crazy, crazy night. Red ten. Oh, he, he just doesn't miss this, this Benny. Well, we know he's going to win already. Uh, maybe I can, I can just pretend I'm going to the toilet and disappear. Eight. Where's nine? You know, if I, if I've given a piece of paper. I, I couldn't really draw the dartboard and all the numbers in the right place. I'll probably get the, the top bit done, twenty-one and five, and the bottom bit three, and then I, I just don't remember where anything is. Yeah, he's making a mockery of this. He's making a rock mockery. No, he's not making a rockery. He's making a mockery. He can make. He's probably got time to make a rockery as well by the time I get round. Right, eleven. Legs eleven. What's the bingo for twelve? That's it. Thirteen. Um, where is it? Oh, there it is. Just below the four. Good. Almost went in the triple. If you hit the wire, the uh, dart will bounce out. Here he goes. He's not going to hang around. Is he? Yeah, there we go. He hasn't missed a single number, that Wally Wombat. I won't be playing this for a huge length of time, you know. Uh, it's good to see once, um, but without the nostalgia, because I didn't own this back in the day, it's pointless. If you owned it back in the day with nostalgia and got memories of friends, then you're going to get a lot more from it than uh, me. That is for sure. Nostalgia's a big influence, right? He'll probably win now, and he? 19 for him. Yep, 20, and he's done it. And he's done it. Well, that's great, isn't it? Hooray! A few other modes there if you wanna if you wanna do them, the cricket and the football mode. It don't offer a great deal there. So hope you liked having a look at that one. It's John Lowe's Ultimate Darts. I I wasn't overly impressed with the thing. I'd rather play 180. So that was by Gremlin Graphics in 1989. Uh, lots of modes to play, that's a positive, and lots of difficulty levels, that's another positive, but yeah, didn't hit the sweet spot for me. So if you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.